welcome now to our GMA cover story, Keeping Up with the Kardashians in Washington, D.C. Courtney Kardashian on Capitol Hill meeting with lawmakers about cosmetic safety. ABC's Mary Bruce is back with the story, and good morning to you again, Mary. Good morning, Michael. Well, the government regulates everything from the food we eat to the medicines that we take. But what about all those products in your bathroom and our makeup bags? Well, it's been more than 80 years since the government last passed regulations on cosmetics. And now lawmakers say it's time for a new makeover. And they're getting a little help from a Kardashian. Reality TV and politics colliding to clean up cosmetics. It's time for, you know, Congress to do its job. Courtney Kardashian keeping up with Capitol Hill, teaming up with lawmakers to keep potentially toxic chemicals out of your cosmetics. The fact that we have to guess so much, you shouldn't be like walking around aimlessly like, is this okay? Only 11 chemicals have ever been regulated by the FDA for use in cosmetics, and no safety tests are required before beauty products hit store shelves. Now Republicans and Democrats and Kardashian are hoping to change that. Everybody should have the right to, you know, healthy products yeah. and personal care. Kardashian is throwing her star power behind legislation to clean up that long list of ingredients on the back of your beauty products. A bill that would require the FDA to review at least five ingredients each year and give the agency the power to recall dangerous products. The CDC admits the health effects of exposure to these chemicals are unknown. There is potential for these ingredients to be absorbed and to affect our health. Knowing more about potential safety hazards is important. In 2016, we put my medicine cabinet to the test to see if our bodies are actually absorbing the chemicals that we're slathering on. For three days, I used products containing parabens, a preservative, and phthalates, controversial chemicals that make fragrances last longer. Then for five days, I cut them out completely, taking samples at each stage. Four days, no chemicals. Now it's time for the last test. We sent them to a lab for review and met up with University of California Berkeley researcher Kim Harley, who revealed the results of my chemical levels. So how did I do? You went up to 386. What? So you had a tenfold increase. And when I cut out those high chemical products... Your levels basically plummeted. Wow. You went down to six. To six? Now, lawmakers are hoping to take up this legislation finally next month. And guys, it's not just big celebrities who are signing on. More than two dozen major beauty brands are also on board. They want to see these changes, too. George. Thank you, Mary. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.